What's up guys, J3V here back with another video and today I want to talk about the new housing system in Genshin Impact which is the Serena Teapot. In this video I will tell you everything you need to know about the Serena Teapot because there are actually a lot of new mechanics that are really confusing. Also before we start this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my future content. Okay without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now. First thing is how to enter the Serena Teapot, which is actually very simple. All you have to do is press B in your backpack, and then go to the gadgets area. After you go to the gadget area, select the Serena Teapot and place it. Then you have to press F and enter the Serena Teapot. Next, you have to select the realm that you want to use for the first time. This doesn't really matter to me because after you increase your trust rank later, you will also be able to unlock the other realms. So just choose the first one, the one that you like the most, and don't have to think too hard about it. After you select it, you will get teleported inside the Serena Teapot. Okay, so the next thing that you need to know about the Serena Teapot is the trust rank. If you go talk to Tabby here, you can see the trust rank area here. Now the trust rank increases when you create more furnishings for the first time. So when you create more furnishings, you will get higher trust rank. Next is the Adaptal Energy, which increases by the number of furnishings placed. So for example here, my Adaptal Energy is 2140. That's because I've placed all the furnishings that I have. So I'm at the second level here, the humble abode. And I used to be at this one, the bare bones. So, because I'm at the second level now, my realm currency accumulation also increases from 4 per hour to 8 per hour. Which means I will get more currency that can be used to buy mora, wits, and also other furnitures. Now, creating furnishings is also very simple. You just have to talk to Tabi and select create furnishing. Here you will have two areas, which is the furnishing area and the dice area. In the dice area, you can make fabric and dice using like sunsetia, berries, and mints, which is very easy to find. Now, for the furnishing area, you can create things using those dice that you have made, and also wood. So right now, there are seven types of wood that you can get in this game. The first one is birch, which you can get in the Starfell Lake area. The second one is pine which you can get actually from various areas of dragon spine. The third one is fragrant cedar, which you can find near Springvale. The next one is choihua, which you can find in Dadapua Horge area. The fifth one is sand bearer, which you can find in the area below Mount Aochang. Second to last is bamboo, which you can find in the Qingxia village. And se the seventh and last one is fear which you can find near star snatch cliff so the next thing that you can do with hubby here is actually buy furnishings and other things in the realm depot here you can use the realm currency and buy like heroes wits mora things like that for your original world and you can also buy furnished things for your serena teapot like here you can buy hedges you can also buy blueprints so that you can create those furnishings yourself later after you get those furnitures, they will go to the new area in your backpack, which is the one furthest to the right, right here. Now you can also get more furnishings from this area right here, the Adaptal Mirror area, which is like the Adventurer's Handbook but for the Serena Teapot. Now by doing these specific tasks, which are very easy, you can get these furnishings. Okay, so for example, I enter the mansion and I can get these things. I just claim it and I get all these rewards. After you got all those rewards, you can place your furnishings by going to this section here. Here you can select for example the landform, like trees. I can place this big tree here and to rotate it just hold this area right here and it will spin. You just place confirm and pr press save then it will be saved. See the tree is there. Now you can also go into the mansion right here and place furnishings inside. Inside the mansion, you place you just have need to press that button again, the same exact button, and you can you can place furnishings. For, for example, I want to place the table I just got. You can also rotate it by pressing this but this area which is very simple. And then you just press confirm and then save. When you exit, the table will be here. It's very simple. Finally, to exit from the Serena Teapot, you just have to go into your map and then select the bottom right area here. You can select Teyvat 
which is the original world, and you just teleport where you want to go. For example, Star Farlight, just teleport there, and then you exit your Serenity Pod. It's very simple. Okay guys, so that's it for this video today. As per usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, I'm serious. Go do it. Now. And thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you next time. Peace out.